Hi, we are sitting here today with George Milner of Milner Finn Price. George is a host to our 10th and final Halloween party. George has been a host in the past, and we are honored to have George as part of our team. George is not only an incredible asset, human being, fabulous attorney, um, he's also good friends with Jane Spiller, who we are going to donate our net proceeds to. So I'm going to let George do a little introduction to himself. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to be a host again. Looking forward to the party. Uh, obviously, very worthy cause this time with uh, Jane Spiller being the beneficiary. I've known her for close to 20 years, somewhere in there. I think I met her in 96 or so. And so how do you look at, I mean, you've known Jane for so long. You've known her way before her journey with cancer. So to know her before and to know her now and to kind of follow her journey and a personal level in which you have, what words you say, would you, what words would you use to describe her as an individual in her journey? Well, I mean, she was always a very, very strong person, lots of energy, so it doesn't surprise me that she was able to uh, take on this challenge and do it so successfully. Um, she's just very, very, very strong, beautiful, powerful woman. I mean, I uh, can't say enough good things about her. Right, and it takes that from somebody that's going to fight cancer for seven years, I think is the, the duration that she's been fighting it, to have the odds against her with the doctors, and then to be so incredibly positive in all of her posts on Facebook and social media, which brings so much inspiration. And as I mentioned earlier, so many of the other hosts have enjoyed getting to know her. They're finding incredible inspiration in her. And really, it was a lot had to do with us choosing her as the beneficiary this year because of her relationship with you, and that we know that you know she's just a good person so um, that we're just encouraging people to come to the party to donate we want to be able to donate as much money as we possibly can because a hundred percent of our net proceeds goes to Jane and we want to make be able to make her life around the holidays especially as um, comfortable as possible because she had surgery in August and she's not been able to work these last um, I guess two months and she's got another month to go so that's got to make life harder and her strength more um, powerful so tell us, George, now let's get to the Halloween party, Night of Mischief. What are you going to, or what are you thinking that you're going to dress as this year? Yeah, I don't know that yet. Um, I'm going to go to a costume shop and have to go pick over some things and see uh, what sounds good this year. Uh, I've got some ideas, but it'll be a surprise on Halloween night. Oh, we like surprises. We like surprises. So tell us, what was one of the funniest things or one of the best memories that you had from last year's party? Uh, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's, I guess, <laughs> I guess losing some of our groups stands out in my memory a little better. Uh, that was a fun time. It, you know, it gets, it gets crowded and it's, it's one of those parties, uh, you could easily lose some people. So were you surprised at the, um, maybe the party is, um, because it is very detail oriented. You know, we definitely, we go out of our way, like we have our sound and lighting crew checking into the hotel on Thursday at noon for our party Friday night of October 30th. And was there anything about the decor, the music, or anything that was surprising to you? Or did you know what to expect? I mean. No, it was, it was all well thought out, well planned. I mean, it went off without any, no hitches whatsoever. Well, good. Well, we look forward to another amazing party this year, and we've planned so many more incredible things to even add to last year's. Um, you know, so we've got spiders and things that are going to fall from the ceiling. We've got all kinds of great adventures. We've added another DJ this year. So we're hoping to um, max the party out this year. We're going to sell 1,300, if not a little over 1,300 tickets, and if we, when that's sold, it's sold. We're not going to oversell for the venue, and we definitely have the space for it. And we sold out of the hotel prior to October 1st which was kind of surprising. <laughs> the hotel's got to love it. The hotel loves it. So wait, George, let's talk about you for a second. So George is, um, in my opinion, now I am favorable towards George because he's been a good friend for a long time, a really good, good criminal defense attorney. So tell us a little bit about your career and maybe, um, you know, as guests or as these people are watching, you know, they always want to think about it. I mean, I wouldn't want anybody to get in trouble, obviously, but you're the man to call. So tell us. Give our guests some pointers uh, about you. I've been, uh, I've been very blessed uh, you know, some of this is just natural skill. You either have it or you don't. And uh, I've worked very hard to perfect it. Uh, started out as a prosecutor like a lot of criminal defense attorneys do. 
I uh, left the DA's office in 94, and I've been on the defense side ever since. So it's been fun. I mean, I, you know, it was, uh, we're sitting here in my office, and uh, you know, some very well-known people <laughs> have been sitting in this office <laughs> at one time or another. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you kind of think, well, there's no way I'd ever need a criminal defense attorney. Well, the fact remains, events could happen where you do, uh, and a lot of people have. And, um I've been blessed to have clients, uh, have a lot of them that can afford to truly do it right so that we can do a 100% effort, which is what you want to do, but a lot of times people don't have the resources to uh, put together a first-class defense, and, and I've been fortunate to have good clients. Well, I think they're just as fortunate to have you because, you know, in my opinion, you are first-class defense. And one of the things that I find so interesting about you that I didn't know until, I don't know, we as we became closer friends, was that George was a police officer. You worked, right, correct, with DPD? Uh, well, I, I did. I was not an actual officer. They had dis did this in college. They had disbanded uh, the cadet program. They kept the Explorer program, then used us essentially as reserve officers. Uh, worked in patrol. Uh, you go through a six-month part. It's a part-time deal, but but that opened the door to a lot of law enforcement contacts. And then when I became a defense lawyer, you know, I still had friends in the department. Uh, st still do have a lot, and I I think that's. One of the things that has helped me is I won't, contrary to the norm, I don't attack the cops in the courtroom. I think that's not the best tactic. I don't think it sells well to juries. But, you know, having worn the uniform, having been out there, having done what they do, I see it from their perspective. And as a, you know, an additional fact, if they mess up, I know it. I'll spot it faster than any other lawyer will because I was out there. I went through this, essentially the same training. So I know how it's supposed to be done, how it's supposed to be documented, why you would do one thing versus another. And if they make mistakes, I can very quickly point them out. So, unfortunately, our society right now today is having some controversy with law enforcement. So one of the things that we wanted to bring in with this Halloween party was to be very supportive of DPD. Since DPD, Dallas Police Department, is our back door, and we want to be supportive of the community and how hard they truly do work. Um, so we have quite a few officers that we've invited to come enjoy the evening. We're going to give them a VIP table because we want to honor those that go out and work really hard and do everything that I know I could not do on a daily basis. So I thought that was something that was very interesting since you do have that background and we want to be supportive and I know you're supportive. Well, yeah, I try to be as supportive as I can. I'm a resident of Dallas. <laughs> well, we all are, but we, but also at the end of the day, I mean, we want to be supportive. We want to make this community better, yes. you know, keep growing. Yeah, we need to have positive uh, relations with the law enforcement community. I mean, the, the, no city is going to benefit uh, and you can see it in Baltimore and other places where they have a, an adversarial relationship with their own police officers. That just doesn't benefit anybody. It doesn't benefit the citizens. It doesn't benefit the city. It doesn't benefit the cops. I couldn't agree with you more. That's why we're trying to be so super supportive. And I know that Jane is very happy in knowing that as well. One last question I have for you. What would be a piece of advice that you would give a guest that's going to come to our Halloween party this year that maybe hasn't been in any of the previous nine years? Oh, you know, have big expectations and take Uber. <laughs> <laughs> take Uber. Take Uber and get there early, right? Yeah, get, the, get there early in your Uber. <laughs> yeah, in your Uber, exactly. Get there early because we did run out of parking very early last year, and I didn't realize that we had 300 and something parking spots, and they were gone by about 7.30, 8 o'clock, and there was nothing we could do, so Uber did a constant drop-off last year. Well, we look forward to a great, amazing 10th and final Halloween party in hopes of raising as much money as we possibly we can to give to sweet Jane Spiller who deserves the world and has fought so much and provided such mentorship and amazing um, growth for all of us that watch her posts and read about her. And George, we cannot thank you enough for being here today and being part of our Halloween party. Happy to be here. I mean, we cannot wait to see your costume because I'm like delighted. I want to see. <laughs> so we look forward to seeing you Friday, October 30th. Looking forward to it. Bye.